Check it. All right, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at Bitcoin and the altcoin market. I'm going to give you guys an update and prediction on Bitcoin, where I think it is headed on the short and long term. We're also going to check out the altcoin market and check out altcoins making the most gains over this year. And some altcoins are going absolutely insane i'm going to show you how to find new altcoins before they pop off talk about my portfolio and how i manage it and we're going to check out the news for cryptocurrency in this video so with that being said let's go ahead and hop in the charts the facts the data leaving emotion at the door let's go all right guys what is up you are back for another video with data zero in this video we're going to be looking at bitcoin the cryptocurrency market and the altcoins giving you guys an update and prediction on what i think is to come next again this video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such even though the predictions are extremely accurate with that being said let's go ahead and hop into the news the charts and the facts the data leaving emotion at the door and see what we have going on so as you guys can see, we did get that move to about 31.5K that I was looking for in my last video. You guys can go ahead and check out my last cryptocurrency update. I said one of two scenarios would happen. I said we'd push up to about 31.5K, get rejected and come back down, have to consolidate, and then make that move to about 32,000. Or I said we'd go up to about 32,000, coming back down to 31.5K, using that as support, and then continuing to move to the upside. As you guys can see, we did get that rejection from 31.5K, coming back down to about 29.6,000, 29 then getting that immediate move back to the upside. We are still consolidating inside this massive bull flag here on the four hour and daily time frame. This is a massive bull pennant or bull flag. After this huge push to the upside, we're having this consolidation and as soon as we get that confirmation move to the upside breaking above the sloping resistance that you see here marked in blue using it as support and then pushing to the upside i do think we're going to get a move to about 32 Thousand. Let's go ahead and look at the macro. This is what I'm looking at on the micro. Again, I think we're going to get that move to 32,000. Come back down using 31.5K as support, this yellow resistance and support that you see right here, using that as support and then continuing up, breaking into a new bull run. I do think Bitcoin is starting a bull rally, and this is why I think it. If you go ahead and look at the macro, we can see that we're testing major support and resistance right now after a huge capitulation to the downside. We have this breakup of this falling wedge this is extremely bullish for more momentum to the upside we've been using this overall uptrend marked in white for several weeks now as support as you guys can see continuing making higher lows higher lows higher lows after the breakout of the falling wedge we also have this buy signal here on the weekly time frame this buy signal is normally correlates with the bull rallies as you guys can see each time we have this buy signal we have massive bull rallies for bitcoin we have this buy signal right now as well and on top of that we have even more confirmation with the monthly MACD. As you guys can see, monthly MACD, we got this bullish cross. Each time we get that monthly MACD cross, you see a rally correlate with that as well. And we currently have that as well with these buy signals and a breakout of a massive falling wedge. Also, we had more confirmation. This is crazy how much confirmation you have. Once you see all of this, it's very, very obvious that Bitcoin is entering a new bull run that will continue into 2024 and possibly 2025. The halving is in 2024, so it'll definitely continue to 2024. But again, more confirmation with the fear and greed as fear was at extreme fear. The index was at extreme fear back when cryptocurrency hit about 15 to 16,000. Again, the bottom is in. 10,000 is not coming. 3,000 is not coming. Those things are not coming. Even if we've seen an extreme crash, the lowest Bitcoin would possibly go, in my personal opinion, is 20,000. 15K is the absolute low. So even if we've seen some type of black swan, I'm talking about like a black swan crazy capitulation, like something create, like tether blew up, something crazy happened in the crypto market. The lowest I think we would go is like 20K. FTX crashed. We had all these major crashes, Terra Luna, and this is the lowest we got. There's nothing that could bring us down that low except the world absolutely imploding, which could actually cause Bitcoin to go up if we see like a hyperinflationary crash or something like that. So this is what I'm looking at for the cryptocurrency market. I do think the bottom is in, in my personal opinion. 
and based off the charts, the fundamentals in the macro. I think we're about to make this move. Once we break that 32,000, 31.5K region, people are going to realize that Bitcoin is in a new bull run. Start to FOMO in and push this thing even higher. But again, you want to do the opposite of the herd, buying and accumulating under 31,000. Like I am not financial advice. I'm getting a lot under 31,000 when people said Bitcoin was dead around 15K. That's when I absolutely loaded up that was my literal sign for loading up when people were saying bitcoin and cryptocurrency are dead people started saying that i went and bought a ton that was right around that fifteen thousand dollar level which we had a double bottom off of right here as you guys can see we had bottom number one then we had that bounce and we had bottom number two and been riding up ever since so it's very very obvious that bitcoin is going into a new bull run altcoins are going to start pumping once bitcoin gets over that 30 two thousand dollar level let's go ahead and check out ethereum and check out some of the altcoins letting you guys know what's going on in the altcoin market also major bitcoin news that is coming out is the bitcoin etf i do think blackrock is actually going to get approved for this and we're going to see bitcoin go to the absolute moon if that spot etf does get approved our bags will absolutely pump to the upside let's go ahead and look at ethereum check out the altcoin market give you guys some updates on that and where i think altcoins will be headed once bitcoin breaks above that thirty-two thousand level again i think we'll see altcoins start to pick up altcoins have made some gains okay so if we look at altcoins over the years some coins like kas has been up over ten thousand percent again it was up over eight thousand percent last week so this coin is still going up insane um ing up 491 percent we can see there's some bigger gainers here of 200 percent as well so some altcoins are doing extremely well even in the bear market you can see that eth is up 50 52 percent on the year as well bitcoin up 39 percent on the year as well again major gains in crypto land this is where you want to be i'm getting out of the stock market my personal opinion i know some people hold stocks and stuff like that but me i'm getting out of the stock market and crypto is where i'm going to be focusing on let's go ahead and look at the ethereum chart showing you guys what's going on with ethereum ethereum had a beautiful bottom here we also in this this pennant type formation we had this capitulation and we started getting a bottom in this pennant type formation had this nice push up ethereum was only eight hundred dollars at one point eight hundred dollars can you believe it is now at one thousand eight hundred dollars you would literally doubled your money if you had bought anywhere near this bottom but as you guys can see, we have this buy signal here, and I do think uh, 800 will be the bottom for Ethereum. But we have this uh, buy signal here on the weekly time frame. It does not have the monthly MACD cross as of yet, but this buy signal normally correlates with massive rallies to the upside, as you guys can see. We're also in this beautiful falling wedge on the smaller time frame. So let's go ahead and look at the four hour time frame, show you guys what I'm looking at here on the micro for um ethereum but as you guys can see we're breaking out of this falling wedge which is marked in blue and starting to push to the upside we're currently consolidating at about one thousand eight hundred dollars i do think ethereum is going to make a move to about uh, 2000 2200 dollars so i do think we're consolidating for the move to a 2000 2000 dollars hold 2200 dollars or 2000 even holding those levels as support again once bitcoin starts to move ethereum is going to move as well me personally i am 50 percent bitcoin in my portfolio and then i have 50 percent altcoins and most of those a lot a, la a large majority of that altcoins is ethereum i am a big ethereum bull this is just my personal opinion i think ethereum is going to do very well in this bull run and there might even be a time i, I don't know because the fundamentals of bitcoin i don't want to uh, sound like a bitcoin maxi but there might even be a time where eth could flip bitcoin there might even be a time where eth could flip bitcoin especially with all the stuff going on with the deflation how they made it deflationary with the staking there's a lot of stuff going on with eth but i think bitcoin i think the fundamentals and the fact that bitcoin is the oldest it's the strongest it's the original and has the fundamentals of the 21 million coin cap this decentralization i think those fundamentals actually might give bitcoin some crazy staying power that keeps it in the position it's in so we'll have to see how this market develops but there could be a day that eth does flip bitcoin you can see on the smaller time frames we have this buy signal as well on the daily time frames again getting that push up no sell signals so basically 
Ethereum's in an uptrend after breaking out of this falling wedge and probably going to trend up to that $2,100 mark. You breaking that and then using that as support and then continuing to the upside. We just need to consolidate, making higher lows again. Things need to move in waves. It needs to move up. It needs to move down. It needs to consolidate. So we need to make higher lows, higher lows, consolidate, and break above that point. So that's what I'm looking at for Ethereum and the altcoin market. I do think altcoins will be making the move. And we'll see a major altcoin rally, especially once Bitcoin gets to these higher valuations of 31, 32, uh, 50, 60,000. We will see that crazy altcoin mania that we are all waiting for. So that's what I'm looking at for the altcoin market. Let's go ahead and check out some of the fundamentals driving cryptocurrency and some of the top coins. So as you guys can see, Doge Killer, Doge Killer, this is Lunar Crush. Okay, this is Lunar Crush. Let me explain what this is real quick. Lunar Crush is a great website that you can find new popping altcoins before they start moving. So anytime you see coins doing well on Lunar Crush, because this takes all the coins and gets things measured by social media metrics. So this gives you the top coins by mention, by Twitter and stuff like that, and gets all the social media data and shows you the top 10 coins. So this is how you can find altcoins before they make their move so you can see that doge killer is popping so doge killer could be making a move as you guys can see kas kas the same coin we've been talking about making crazy gains is making moves as well again this is proof showing you that you can find these coins before they pop compound compound has been making major moves as well over the past couple of days past couple of weeks compound has been doing very very well um i don't see it here on the crypto bubbles but it has been doing very very well making gains as well up 87 percent over the month as you guys can see um let's go ahead and check out some more xvg xvg shiba inu making moves as well and as you guys can see the top coins listed by social media metrics polygon at number 12 so this is a way to find altcoins before they pop off let's go ahead and look at the bitcoin dominance showing you the bitcoin dominance and ethereum dominance bitcoin dominance sitting at 48 percent again this is why bitcoin is the market leader it has the most dominance and this is why bitcoin determines the moves of the altcoins but as you guys can see altcoins can pop off in this type of environment especially while bitcoin is in the uptrend altcoins can definitely pop off but you want to watch because when bitcoin goes in a downtrend altcoins can pull back heavy so that's something you want to keep in mind that's why i'm 50 percent bitcoin 50 percent altcoins or sometimes 50 percent bitcoin uh, 45 percent altcoins five percent meme coins to add a little bit of risk and meme coin exposure to my portfolio if we go ahead and look at coin glass this gives you the open interest for bitcoin you guys can see that there's a ton of leverage to the downside there's a ton of leverage to the downside so that means if we see a move to the downside it could be exacerbated but you know what that means to the upside if we see any type of push to the upside which we're seeing right now a slight move to about 35 32.5 30 or 30.5, um, 30.7 around that range. If we see a move to that region, you could see a major short squeeze to that $32,000 level because of all this short interest on Bitcoin. This helps make Bitcoin makes moves, this open interest. So if it's levered to one side or the other, you could see short squeezes to one side or the other. And because we have all this leverage to the downside, if we see a move to the upside, you could definitely see a short squeeze to that $32,000, $33,000 level, which is what I think is probably going to happen. A lot of people think Bitcoin is making a topping pattern, a double top pattern where we consolidate and then push down a uh, triple top, double top type pattern right here. This will be top number one. This will be top number two and then push back down. But really, I think this is a bull flag about the consolidate and push back up. You have to look at context to get an overall perspective of what's going on. And we have to break out of the falling wedge. We have the buy signal. We have the monthly MACD flip. All of these things are bullish on the macro time frame. Your trend is your friend, and that's how I know we're going to make that move up instead of down. If we did see any pullback down, it would be to this white trend line of support, um, which is at about 26 27,000 around that range. So if we did see a move down, that would be the lowest that I think Bitcoin could possibly go to. But 29K has been such a strong support and resistance. We've been getting buy signals and buy levels every time we go down to that level. I think we're about to make this move much, much higher, seeing that short squeeze to the upside. So this is basically everything I have for you guys over in the cryptocurrency market. Again, this is how you guys can tell another confirmation that this is an absolutely good time to accumulate Bitcoin. As you guys can see using the rainbow chart, um, 
it's a historic time to buy Bitcoin. Historic time to buy Bitcoin. It's a historic low. As you guys can see, that 15K low was absolutely off the charts. It was a crazy time to buy Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is literally in the fire sale territory. As you guys can see, the light blue band is fire sale territory in the historic context of things, and that's where we are accumulating right now. This is a major accumulation range. I think smart money is accumulating here, and Bitcoin's about to make a huge push up way past 69K. I think we're about to go to 80, 100,000, and much, much higher as the years go on. I think smart money starting to pile in. I think we're going to get these ETFs. I think this is going to be one of the craziest bull markets that we have ever seen for Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency market. So hopefully you have your bags packed and you're ready to go. Guys, this is the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and you can check out more content on the Discord. I do have a Discord. It is $50 for a lifetime invite. You can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and say, hey, I want to join your Discord. I am working on a website for you guys, but hit me up on Twitter and Instagram, link below. Say, hey, I want to join your Discord. It's $50 and I can get you in. I talk about my stocks, cryptos, trades, on there and drop my ta on there as well and you have access to me you can ask me questions so that is 50 dollars for a lifetime invite i have a membership you can join it's 2.99 a month you can cancel at any time you can get a ton of perks for joining the membership of this channel just go ahead and press join next to the subscribe button and i'm working on a trading class showing you guys how i make these accurate calls and navigate the market using psychology patterns candlestick patterns and so much more showing you guys how i do it that class will be available shortly i'll be making an announcement here on the channel and if you want to support me for free you can simply drop a like leave a comment and press subscribe and as always i appreciate each and every one of you that watch the end of this video to hear this message have fun stay safe make money peace out all right yeah, that was the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this and remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates instagram and twitter link below hit me up to get in the discord is 50 dollars for a lifetime invite that's a one-time fee of 50 dollars. you can get in by simply messaging me say hey i want to get in then we'll talk about payment i'll send you the link and that's as easy as that i'm working on a website for you guys as well so you guys can all just go there it'll have my trading course and all of that stuff on it but until that is ready you guys got to hit me up on twitter or instagram and i appreciate each and every one of you that watch this end of the video if you want to support me for free simply drop a like leave a comment or press subscribe it's a great way to help the channel grow and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out